So let's start way back. I just want to kind of paint a picture where the listeners of this episode will have an idea of who you are completely as a person. Yeah. So tell me a little about your a little bit about your family and how many siblings you have and and how's that relationship growing up. So my family. Well, I'm the baby, wow. and I'm Jamaican background. So you know they call me the wash belly because I'm the last. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> I am the wash belly. Okay, wow. mom used to always remind me. Yeah, yeah. Go wash belly. So yeah, um, I'm the baby, and I'm on I'm the baby on both sides of my family too. So from my dad's side, I have siblings. I have three siblings on my dad's side, okay. and they're all older than me. And then I have three siblings with my mom. Nice. So it was four of us that grew up in the house the jungle, yeah. you know. <laughs> And we moved around Jungle too. That like we were on Barna and yeah. moved into onto Flemington. Yeah, but how, anyways, how was what it? We gonna say? How was it growing up being the baby? How were you treated? What were some of the challenges? <laughs> uh, okay, I was a brat. <laughs> like you know, once upon a time, I used to be like, I'm not a brat when I'm here and yeah. say it or people in the family. But when I look back now as a grown up, yeah. I was, I was a brat. Yeah. I was definitely a brat. Yeah. But, and so as a baby, the wash belly, I was a brat. I was spoiled by my mom. My mom mm. spoiled me. And, um, my sister, I had a sister and it's like, she, oh my gosh, I used to fear her. Like, I was scared of my sister because it was like, like, oh my gosh, big sister. Like, you know, don't don't piss her off. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, I was just, I would say growing up as a, as a baby, I was just a brat. I was spoiled. And like, I was, I guess I was annoying, you know, as a little sister to my big sister. Because yeah. there were times where my sister would never want to bring me places, but my mom would force her. And it's like, oh my gosh, why? But you know, that's sibling life. That's yeah. what happens. Especially sisters, like, you know? Wow. We used to fight, like my mom would say, like, puss and dog. That's how we used to fight. So, but yeah, it's my sister. Love my sister. <laughs> what, yeah. what What would you say were some of the benefits, like the, the good things about being the baby in that scenario? You got everything you wanted the from mom. That, exactly. And I got away with a lot of stuff. That's another thing that pissed my sister off, too. <laughs> All my siblings, they felt like you know I got away with murder, like pretty much. Do you, you so, yeah, but do you have like a, a favorite memory during the, those um, uh, adolescent years, those younger years? Oh my gosh, a favorite! There's so much different memories. Oh my, like what kind of memory do you want to hear? I don't know, good things like, or, have, or or, or good, okay, <laughs> silly things, anything. I have good memories that are funny. Yes, and, share one of those, please. <laughs> okay. okay, so once again, we're Caribbean, right? Yeah. So, you know, Caribbean parents, they discipline. And I was bad. Like, I would do some things that were bad. and But I was so afraid of Lick. So what would happen is, I ran, I remember one time running, because I was getting in trouble. I think me and my sister, like I said, me and my sister fight all the time. And we used to share rooms at this time. And I think she would like, it was like, she would bully me with the blanket and stuff. And every time she'd pull the blanket off me, I'd be like, stop, like make a little sound. So my mom warned us, if I hear one more time, I'm coming with the belt. <laughs> and all you hear is stop. <laughs> and mom, all you hear is the belt jingling. My mom comes in, she goes for my sister first, so I run. When my mom comes to me, okay, you know how the houses are in the jungle. There's 14 steps, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I jump from the second stairs down. My mom got concerned. She stopped and was like, oh, what did Bones do? I didn't even know what to do. She thought I literally broke my bones to run from beat. And she's like, what, y'all? So I'm still running, eh? You know, I dropped down, fumble, boom, 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 got back up, ran again, and went to the basement. Oh, and I'm afraid of spiders. If anybody knows me, I am, like, I, my biggest fear is spiders. Oh, Web, wow. I hate that. And I went, I was so afraid of lift. I went all the way into the basement where the heater thing is, like where all the weds are, and hid. <laughs> and my mom was just like, Timmy shot, me shot, like, like trying to figure out, like, you know, if I'm okay. It was it wasn't even a matter of like, okay, you're in trouble. It was just like, are you okay? Yeah. And when she seen that I was good and made the 
made sure the post is clear, like, you're okay. You're, you're getting off. Just come out. Yeah. It's been the joke, the stigma that's been with me growing up. Every time we get together, family gatherings, my mom tells that story. My sister, somebody brings up a story. Remember when you dropped from the second floor, like the second step, like, and muscled up yourself and kept running the same way just to run from leg? I was like, oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, I do remember that. No, that's, fun. that's funny because I can relate to some of those situations, boy, when you're just trying to run. You just. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you, you know what it's like going up in the hood, man. You so, know what it's like. Yeah.